Hey everyone, it's Matt with SureSight Home Inspection. In this video, we're going to be going over a walkthrough summary of a general thermal imaging scan the buyer decided to add to their pre-purchase home inspection. Today we're recording with our new FLIR E75 camera. Our older camera served us faithfully for over 12 years, but with advancements in technology, we determined it was time for an upgrade. This new camera has twice the resolution and over two times the sensitivity of our previous camera. That means we'll be able to find things that may have been hidden before and would likely be hidden with many of the cheaper cameras coming onto the market. So this is a brand new single family home. It's story and a half construction and all permits including the CO were issued at the time of this inspection. So it's important to note that the conditions that you see in this video are what the client would have inherited with the purchase of this home had they not hired us to perform the general thermal imaging scan. We'll start by heading up to the second floor, and as you'll see, it doesn't take long before we start to see some big problems with the second floor ceiling insulation right here at the top of the stairway. This large orange rectangle in the ceiling is showing heat from the attic area above where insulation is missing or significantly misplaced. That area is roughly 2 feet by 8 feet, so about 16 square feet of missing insulation just in this one area. As we scan to the right side of the second floor loft room ceiling, we're going to see multiple areas with a lot of orange showing heat from the attic above. Towards the bottom of the screen here, we see a large rectangular area that appears to show missing insulation. Towards the top left, that small glowing orange area is an air supply register. The two large rectangles next to it are caused by improperly placed insulation over that duct leading to the register, a very common problem that we find. Moving on from the loft and into the upstairs bedroom, we have a very good find as there was no problems visible from inside or above. This large purple blob here on the ceiling is moisture that we later determined to be from a leak from the furnace exhaust vent. There was no visible stain on the ceiling during the inspection. Nothing visible from above indicated a problem, so this would have never been found if not for the thermal imaging scan. It may have been weeks or months into the heating season that this stain started to show through. By that time, there may be additional damage to the building components in the attic. Now we're heading to the first floor where things start to get really bad. Because this is story and a half construction, the front half of the first floor has attic space above, not conditioned rooms like the back of the house. Unfortunately, there was no attic access installed in this part of the home, so the insulation installer who came after the drywall was installed never knew to add any insulation over the front half of the home. That bright orange ceiling looks that way because there's no insulation installed. None. Because there's no attic access to this part of the attic, this would have never been found if the client had not opted for the thermal imaging scan. As we can see here, the entire bedroom ceiling and its closet are uninsulated. The hall ceiling is uninsulated and even into the bathroom, also missing insulation. This is going to result in significant energy loss and difficulty heating and cooling a room. As we head to the rear wall of the home, we see some hot spots from missing insulation in the bottom of the wall cavities just to the left and right of that partition wall there. That's likely from electrical wiring, maybe a hose bib on the outside at the wall there, and they never fit the insulation properly around those. Again, very common. So now heading into the kitchen, you're going to see a purple spot about the size of a tennis ball on the center of the ceiling. That's moisture and likely caused by a small leak from a toilet or shower drain that runs through the joist cavity. There's no visible stain on the ceiling, so again, this is another instance where something would not have been found if they did not get the thermal imaging scan. Heading into the master bedroom here, we're going to see on the back wall an area at the bottom of the wall where some more insulation is missing. Lines we're seeing here are water lines going to the water heater, which is opposite this wall in the garage. No problem with this at all. Here on the floor, we see a large orange square caused by missing insulation in the floor joist cavity. That would likely be found during a crawl space inspection, but a thermal image like this in a report goes a long way in explaining the problem. Well, that's all for this home walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and will consider adding a general thermal imaging scan to our already best in the industry home inspection. I think that like this client, you'll find it to be a worthwhile investment as part of your overall due diligence evaluations. Until next time.